South Korea's foreign minister nominee, who served as a special policy advisor to the UN Secretary General, has arrived back in Seoul ahead of her confirmation hearing. Speaking to reporters upon her return, Kang Kyung Hwa said it's time for the South Korean government to soften its tone on North Korea. Connie Kim with this report. Touching down in Seoul after flying in from the U.S., President Moon Jae-in's pick for South Korea's next foreign minister emphasized the need to provide North Korea with humanitarian aid, regardless of any political considerations. That's the principle of the United Nations. Humanitarian assistance is a universal value that should be carried out from the basis of human suffering. It should be done regardless of political situations. Despite those remarks, Kang said it was important to apply stronger sanctions on the North Korean regime if it conducts additional provocations. She also addressed public concerns regarding her relative lack of experience in dealing with North Korea issues and with South Korea's strategically important partners like the U.S., China and Japan. She pointed to her long career at the U.N. and her time working closely with late former President Kim Dae-jung. North Korea is dealt with as an international issue at the UN, not just as an issue pertaining to the Korean Peninsula. For the three years I interpreted for President Kim Dae-jung, North Korea was a major issue. When it was being discussed by world leaders, I was able to observe and learn. She was guarded on the controversial wartime sexual slavery agreement struck with Japan in late 2015, remaining tight-lipped when questioned by the press on her feelings about the deal. President Moon's unexpected nomination of Kang to lead the foreign ministry came as a surprise to many. She was able to start working for the foreign ministry in 1999 without taking the national exam for career diplomats, and despite that could go on to become foreign minister. Kang will have to prove her abilities at an upcoming confirmation hearing at the National Assembly, where issues regarding her response measures on North Korea and her daughter's dual citizenship will be brought up. Connie Kim, Arirang News.